Okay, welcome to the uh, Hadley Housing Authority Board of Commissioners regular meeting agenda for Tuesday, July 30th, 2024 at 11 a.m. Uh, we have Sue Oppenheimer, Crystal Jackson, my name's Risa Smith-Fried, Rich Whitkiss, and our Executive Director, uh, Pamela Rogers, and Pam Creek is our Office Administrator. So the uh, first is topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. I have nothing. Sue, do you have anything? Nothing. Crystal? Nothing. Rich? Nothing. nothing. Pamela, do you have any? The authority has nothing. All right. So we'll move on to approval of the minutes. Can I get a motion? A motion. Crystal Jackson motions. I'll second. Set Rich Whitka seconds. Discussion. Sue. No discussion. And these are minutes for Tuesday, June 4th. Nothing for me. Crystal? Nothing. Um, I'm going to go ahead to Rich because I have a boatload. So no, I have nothing. Sorry. I did want to bring up that I wasn't listed as present. In because July. that's June 4th. Yeah. You weren't here in June 4th. I was here in July. Because when uh, my yeah. first date of sitting down, I thought that was June. <coughs> June 25th. So this is June 4th. There was two meetings. Oh, it was two meetings. meetings. We, we actually okay. had three meetings in the month of June. June 4th, oh, which June is 12th, not normal. Yeah, which, that's what I was like which is not a, normal. Our June 4th meeting was for May. Our May oh, meeting. Okay. Uh, we couldn't do it in May, so we did it June 4th. That was for the May. Okay. Meeting. Okay. Uh, and then we had a joint meeting with a select board where we all voted for you to be come onto the board. And then your first actual meeting was June 25th. Okay, so do we have those minutes? Yes, we do. Okay, good. But we start with, with the June 4th. Tuesday, June 4th. Okay. Rich, did you have any? No. Any I'm corrections? Sorry. Okay. So I will say that when we do, there's been some confusion about it apparently, past several meetings. But when we. Um, uh, on the agenda when it says approval of minutes we are only looking for additions subtractions or some people call it deletions or corrections those are the only thing that the board can discuss during approval of any set of minutes mm -hmm. so uh, if you could please limit whatever comments to that so I'm going to assume nobody has anything to say about June 4th meetings, except I do. Anybody? Okay, so I'll start off. So, uh, Pam, you might want to take notes on this. Are these grammatical? Uh, no, there, there's also some additions. There's some grammar things or misspellings yeah. or, you know. Yeah, which I wouldn't. But, with, but, yeah. Right. Um, so, on the first page of June 4th, Tuesday, June 4th, Three quarters of the way down, uh, the paragraph that starts, Sue Oppenheimer said, are we going to be seeing the new rule and reg? Is it going to be written so we can see this? We need to insert my response, which was, uh, so that's me responding to that. That's everything comes out eventually in PHNs. And I can give you this, Pam. I think you can read my writing. But, um, we are digressing. Do you have corrections or additions? That was my response to Sue Oppenheimer said, are we going to be seeing new rules? Okay. Is there a, a lot? Because I'm wondering if we just table There are. Then I would just table them and send These are them from over. June 4th. Well, I know, but we can't, she can't take dictation of that whole, because these are transcript meeting minutes. I know, but there, so, there was so much that was missed on the Right, so video. if you table these and then send that to us, we'll correct them and bring them back to the board. Perfect. Yeah, and then okay. we'll save them. Yeah. So then, uh, make a, someone make a motion to table them. Yes. Can we make a motion to table? Yes. All right. I'll second. Second. Vote. Aye. Aye. Okay. So Sue Oppenheimer just... votes yes. Crystal Jackson votes yes. I vote yes. Rich Ripkus votes yes. It carries four to zero. And you'll just email those to Pam, please. I. Uh, well, we can scan it in the email. Yeah, we'll scan an email. Okay. Yep. Is that all you have for, the for June fourth? Okay. Yes. So, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of June 12th. 
And is there a similar issue? I'm just looking at your, your June copy, 12th Madam is Chair. Just, uh, June 12th. So uh, the minutes for Tuesday, June, oh, just a second. We have double-sided copies, right. and it makes it kind of hard. We're on June 12th, right? Yep, we're on June 12th. This is the joint uh, meeting with uh, Hadley Housing Authority and the Hadley Select Board. Um, so can I get a motion? Yes, I'll give you a motion. Chris, uh, Crystal Jackson moves. Second. Uh, Rich Whitka seconds. Discussion, Sue? Nothing. Crystal? Nothing. I have nothing? Nothing. And Rich Whitkiss has nothing. So call for the vote. Yes. Sue. Yes. Crystal. Yes. Risa. Yes. 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 Rich. Yes. Four carries four to zero. The next is the uh, minutes for Tuesday, June twenty fifth. Can I get a motion to approve? Let me just take a look. Well, you can't do that yet. So get a, can I get a motion that we approve the minutes? So you right. move? Yeah. So Crystal Jackson moves to approve the minutes. Second. Rich Whitka seconds. Discussion. Sue? No discussion. No discussion. Crystal? No. no discussion. Risa? No discussion. None from me. No. And no discussion from me. Uh, we will, oh, except one thing. And that's just, it's track star, not trap star. So, uh, page five of these specific minutes, 17 pages in, but page five on the actual minutes. So, T R A K S T A R. Track store instead of tra trap store. Trap store. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, call for the vote. Yes. Sue? Yes. Crystal? Second. Risa? Yes. Yes. Rich Whitkiss, yes, carries four to zero. The next item on our agenda is the warrant report. Pamela, would you like to deliver that? Who's the treasurer? We could. We'll we get, if Rich that. wants to give the warrant yeah, report, yeah. that works great. Uh, warrant report from 62724 to 62724. And the amount of, I believe it's uh, $12,867.53. Can we consider that a motion, sir? I'll make the motion. Okay, can I get a second? A second. Crystal Jackson seconds. Discussion, Sue? Nothing. Crystal? Nothing. I have nothing. Nothing. Rich, no. nothing. Uh, Pamela questions. does have some information. I'd like request to remove the, the emails from the meeting minutes. Please. I think that that was done. I know, but there's one, there's some of them. I know, I know. But it's just. I, I don't think they're, they're necessary. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we don't need, you know, you have it for the audit, but we don't need right. them, them in the, in the, in the book right. for. Exactly. Okay. Two of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So let's revise the motion to include removal of the emails. So can we update that motion? Uh, Rich. I'll make the motion with to uh, remove w with remove the addition the of email. remove the yes. emails. All right. So discussion. No discussion. Any further discussion? No. no. Uh, call for the vote. Sue. Yes. Crystal. Yes. Reese says yes. yes. Rich. Yes. yes. Uh, the motion carries four zero. And the next warrant report, sir. Next warrant report. Uh, Wait a minute. Is there only one? Oh yeah, there there is another one. Yeah. Yeah, six thirteen. For the accounts payable transactions between six thirteen twenty four and six thirteen twenty four, in the amount of let's see here, sixty three thousand one hundred and fifty six dollars and ninety three cents. Can I get a second? Second. Crystal Jackson seconds. Discussion. Sue. Nothing. Crystal. Nothing. Risa has nothing. Nothing. Rich has nothing. Call for the vote. Uh -huh. Sue? Yes. Crystal? Uh -huh. Risa says yes. Yes. And Rich says yes. 
four, carries four to zero. And we're down to the treasury report. Uh, Pamela, would you like to give that or would you like sure. Rich to give it? Or who, what are we doing here? Jeff, what? That's right here. Yeah, it requ the treasury report requires no voter motions, so. Yeah. Go ahead. Told me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Treasury report uh, for June 30th, 2024. Any questions about it? No. Sue, so, do you no. have anything? Crystal has nothing. No, no, we can. I have nothing. I have nothing. Rich has nothing. Requires no vote. We can move along. Quarterly report does require a vote. Pamela, would you give us that? Sure, yep. So the quarterly reports are prepared by our fee accountant, Gary DePace and they'll include um, the quarterly operating statements for the 400 program, which is um, our 667 and 705s. Um, that's a combination of both of the two different programs. And it shows what we're up to, uh, where we are as of the third quarter, yep, to 630. So we are in very good shape. Um, we are still we're still in the black, so Wonderful. that's just the first two pages. So if mm -hmm. uh, and then the next one would be the mod. But if you want to uh, take a motion and then ask any questions, um, will we then have to vote on the rest of the quarterly consolidated modernization, or can we do it all together? You do need a separate vote for the mod. Okay, okay. so let's. Uh, I'll ask for a motion to approve the uh, quarterly operating statement. Uh, for fiscal year ending 9-30-2024, uh, period covered from 10-1-2023 uh, to 6-30-2024. And this is the specific, the last three quarters, right? Yeah, this is the, the third quarter, and it shows that we, and we do have, we, we still are in the black of 18,000. Yeah, and the, um, yeah, that's the first page. The second page, that's the balance sheet. Does it show us? the balance on the bottom on the very next sheet or do we limit it to the front page no it's both so it would just it's be the, the quarterly operating statements is both the balance sheet and the operating statement okay so the total liabilities and equity are one million one hundred and seventy three thousand nine hundred and thirty three dollars and fifteen cents so uh can i get a motion to approve I have a question. Well, we can't do that. Oh, yeah. motion, motion to approve. Sorry, motion. Okay, Crystal Jackson moves to approve the quarterly operating statement uh, ending date 6-30-2024. Can I get a second? Second here. Rich Whitka seconds now. Open for discussion soon. Any part that's blacked out, is it because it's personal or because you're just not it's nothing that the board should see. Not There's nothing in those figures. It's not. It's not redacted. That's just the balance sheet. So it's not applicable. Here, girl. Oh, okay. So see, um, see, like the on page on the first page on line 18, the so compensated ab absences. It's just blacked out. You don't have. You have no actual employees. So there's no figure there. Okay. So it's just part of the form. Okay. Really. Crystal had a That was the right? same. I just wanted to know what the black the black out meant. Yeah, it's but. just part of the form. Thank you. Just part of the form. Okay. Any further? I have nothing. Uh, Rich, do you no. have any questions? Have I'll none. go around again. Sue? No more questions? No. Crystal has none. I have none. No questions. Rich has none. Call for the vote. Sue? Yes. Crystal? Yes. Yes. Risa? Yes. Rich? Yes. yes. Uh, carries four to zero. We're off to the quarterly consolidated modernization cost report. Is that correct, Pamela? Yes. Okay, Pamela. So the, the modernization cost report is um, is an overview of all of our capital projects. So on the quarterly reports and our normal monthly warrant reports, you get um, the subsidies and the rents and the bills going through that way. This is a completely different pool of money. Mm. Um, it will filter through sometimes mm -hmm. when, we, when we're paying bills, but we get additional subsidy for capital. So each of the line items is, uh, the, it'll show you a project number. Um, I can bring um, 
next time a uh, list of what the actual projects Thank are you. too. Thank you. So we know where we're talking. Yes. But like the um, the first one, one one seven zero eight two. That is the window project here. At yeah. So that'll show you where we're we're using funds. Uh, so this is just an accounting of it. Um, none of these are closed out. I believe I reported, and it may have been hard to hear, hard to hear me over the Zoom last month, that we are having an issue with um, the executive office didn't send out the um, contracts for financial assistance CFAs, which are amendments to our subsidies mm -hmm. that you folks have to approve mm -hmm. when we give us when they give us money for capital projects. So we request money. We say, can I have three hundred thousand right. dollars? And they say, sure. But now sign this contract saying that you're, you'll accept it. Right. It's a, it's just a formality, um, and there was a glitch. Um, well, I shouldn't say glitch, but what happened in, at EOHLC is they changed software, and a lot of things got missed. Mm -hmm. So all three of our housing authorities are missing CFAs, which they're now working through. We started getting it for Belchertown. We're still waiting for Hadley, and it will clear up a lot of the accounting on the mod report, and will. So we have the money, but it's just not in our pool yet. It's so been assigned to us, but we ain't got it yet. Yes. <laughs> For that information for the contract to come there Inside. there usually is a, a debt and we're actually behind but it's right. not our fault it's their fault so that so. doesn't wear any bearing on us because we oh, no. really have okay yeah as long as we did everything right right and that you have the, the software, the software is yeah. right and mm -hmm. it's not going to hold anything up for anyone in housing well it's been it has been holding up yeah so the, the the vacancy initiative money that we have in these buildings here not only are capital projects lag lagging because there's just so many of them right. and there's a lack of architects and builders and contractors um, but the money's been kind of like they're trying to pull things around and we have a facilities um, or it, it, a new FMS facility trying to think um, facilities management specialist that helps us okay. and uh, we have a new woman called um, called named Ashley O'Sullivan what she's wonderful and within a week of us working with her she went oh my gosh i see what happened oh, she good. found the error she's good. the one that found the error good. Okay. so um and it, they're all everyone's working to correct it but it's not it's not having any effect on the tenants not our current tenants okay. but we would have liked to have turned our units over faster before yes yeah. i think we have tenants waiting for some of these so, yes, yes right. a couple of them are there we do have some reasonable accommodation transfers that we're doing so there is um and and they're aware of that okay so we're so basically yeah. the only thing only ones that are affected are the newcomers in well no they need accommodation uh, transfers that already live here but they need oh. reasonable accommodation oh, okay. yeah because yeah, there's two units that we're we're putting in um different showers and right. bath and kitchens but so. as far as new tenants that's where you're talking about as far as the contract is, is holding the new tenants. Right, yeah, and the current tenants, it doesn't affect their, the normal maintenance right. or anything yeah. of yeah. that nature. Right. Just because that probably was paid previously, or the contract has already been signed for that, correct? Right, you already approved, when you, that goes, that's in, if you look at your quarterly um, statements or yeah. even the monthly ones, you'll see a line item for maintenance expense and then um, extraordinary maintenance expense too. That's that line item and even contract costs okay. that the housing authority uses to repair things for the the property okay. tenants, things of that nature. Thank you so much. I You're welcome. <laughs> okay, we're still on quarterly consolidated uh, modernization cost report. Anything further, Pamela? No, we're we're good to go. This is votable, right? Yes. Any further discussion, Sue? No. Crystal. No. I have nothing, Rich. No. So, we're closing discussion. And now I'll call for the vote. Sue. Yes. Did we get a motion? Yeah. A we did. Oh, we yeah, got a motion discussion. because then we did discussion. Okay. So Sue says no. Crystal. No. No further discussion. I have no further discussion. None. Rich. Nothing. None. Call for the vote. Yes. yes. Uh, Sue is yes. Crystal's yes. I am yes. Rich is yes. Ca motion carries four to zero for approval of the quarterly consolidated modernization cost report now we'll move on to does this require the balance sheet require a vote 
next? No, this is all supplemental information to the, um, it's the individual breakdown of each of those projects. Oh. Okay, great. Yeah, so Sue has asked questions in the past too about you know where, where do certain line items come? Like Sue, you've asked about the administrative the cost. It's right in there as a line item oh. of, of every project. Where is the? Well, now you're gonna make me get a magnifying glass. Hold on. I think I need signature sheets. What? I think I need Maybe signature sheets. Yeah, okay. You guys will come Barely see yeah. it. Yeah. What was she looking for? The it's the page after quarterly consolidated, and she's looking for the line item for an admin fee. And that is here's the so show me crystal oh oh turn it the other way this if way. gary de pace was here he just rattles off the number oh, no. keep going keep, keep going, going. Yeah. i gotta hold this there yes you always do i know, I know. I know. Like oh way back there okay yep there you go all right what line item is it? Oh, is it 1410? No, that's administrative fund cash. That's, that's not the, the admin fee. Yeah. No. no, I'm saying this is where we start this page. Oh, that, that page this for page. the balance sheet. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> that's that do, does not have the admin. I think it's the, the 1410. Yeah. 1410 Okay, so go on. Okay, wait a minute. Where's 1410-16? So it's at the very top under administrative costs. Okay, show me. Okay. Oh, we're on a completely different page. That's yeah. why it wasn't working yeah, out. Which page okay, are you now on? we go so all the way I'm over looking here. at Look for uh, 1410. Which one? The next page. page. It would be the. I think it's the first line of each of the each. So if you're behind the modernization, okay. you'll see the different. Um, each of these plans it can no, no. have. So we a skipped workload. over the modernization. Or did we, I don't know. We've done. It. Okay. I don't recall we did this one, the modernization balance sheet. Do we do that? No, one? So this is the sheet that we were that you're right. approving, and then the rest is all supplemental information to this. To right, and this okay. is so where we are now. I'm. Uh, I don't. You so it's here's fourteen ten. It says executive director salaries. No, yeah. No. So okay. that. Yep. So that whole pool of money is administrative administration. Right. And what goes in with the projects is we put it under fourteen ten sixteen. And the pages before that, we do not need to discuss them. No, you can if you have questions. Oh, you can okay. ask questions. Sort of all sure. together. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making sure I stay on. The this page. is the backup for this. Yeah, this okay. is the explanation. Yeah, of yeah. breaking yeah. it down. Yeah. yeah, this is all the explanations of where the funding went to. Right. As has to do with projects. With projects. Yeah. yeah. So we, Gosh, you, you're, are we still on this? Yeah, that's the, um, and we are going to okay. write our names. I'm just going to take this out because the pages aren't in I know, sync. they're not. Okay. So I'm going yeah, to take sorry. this out and then this way. We, we really need page. to not do front and back. It's really hard. We will kill more trees, but I understand. I know, and I hate I it too. But I'd rather have the writing a little bigger than we can. And the writing, it. yeah. Because these are, these are, these are actually coming out of, their, out of the DHCD oh, okay. system. So, they're already so we, try, we can try to do, sharpen right? it a little bit. No, that's all. Nothing. Just you and Gary. I swear we did it in the All right. So now we did Oh. So we're good? Yeah. No signature. It's because we have a different fiscal year. That's okay. Okay. So, That's folks, we did we vote on this? You did not. Okay. So, folks, yeah. I'm going to call for a motion to approve the quarterly consolidated modernization cost report, which I may have already done, but let's do it again so we can get some discussion if there's any further questions. Can I get a motion? To approve the quarterly consolidated modernization cost report. Yes. Crystal moves to approve the quarterly consolidated modernization cost report. May I get a second? Second. Rich Whitka seconds. 
Open for discussion. Sue? Nothing. Crystal? Nothing. I have nothing. nothing. Rich has nothing. I will call for a vote. Sue? Yes. Crystal? Yes. I vote yes. Yes. Rich, that is unanimous four to zero for approval of the quarterly consolidated modernization cost report. The about the the next page is look those the modernization balance sheet, but it goes in with what we just did. Right. right. And the subsequent pages called development modernization cost statement, development cost budget, it's supportive documentation for what right. we just voted on. Right. So we can move forward. Thank God. Okay. And now we are to tenant accounts receivable. Unit vacancy? Well, ma'am, that's what I thought would be next, but um, according to my packet. I'm just going by the agenda. Yeah. I think it's right on the front page there. Hold on. Right next to Okay. Uh, so we've done the quarterly reports, unit vacancy reports. What's next? So now I got to find that in here. Okay. Because unit vacancy was in a pack, the packet before, and I can't. That's it there. I know. I see it. Okay. So unit unit vacancy is next, and then tenants account receivable, but it was backwards in the packet. Okay, go ahead, Pamela. So we we have no movement as of six thirty. Um, we have the four units here at Golden Court, and we have um, two units at Burke Way. So the two units at Burke Way are um, major capital projects. They're over two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I heard that last meeting. Yeah. yeah. So they're it. So they'll they'll be long term, and then these ones we do have movement. We do have architects in place that are de drawn the designs for the bathrooms. Um, and the money is starting to flow through. Uh, I believe they did just, w one of them has been actually uh, leased up, one of the non, the, with the other ones. Uh, and then there is another person that is in queue to go to that next unit. And those are the ones that aren't needing the big, those are the what? two units that don't need the big. Yeah, they got like $10,000. Okay, so uh -huh. one of them is leased up, of the four units at Golden Court, one is leased up, the other one is almost ready to go. Yes. Okay. And then the other two units still haven't been renovated for right. whatever, ADA or whatever. And so. we do have two new ones coming online, unfortunately. I saw that, yeah. So. And you, as you say, there's no movement over at Berks Way yet? There is an architect um, oh, that's architect. been designed, but... Nothing. Nothing. After work being done. No. Okay. The, no. F <laughs> the four capital ones, no real work's been done. They might have been painted or floor sanded. So the, these all six are actually under the vacant unit turnover. Oh, okay. All six were, va uh, were capital. Um, the, we did some of the work in house ourselves to speed okay. along the two of the six, six, sevens. So yeah. those ones, it, and, it, and it worked. Yeah. So yeah. Um, they should. <laughs> Basically, we have four now instead of six because two you said two should be two will be leased up by the end of this month. Okay. Uh, well, actually, this we're at the end of this month, so yeah. at the beginning of next. But then we have two new ones right. that came online. Right. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, and that's what happens in housing. That's it's what I'm saying. That's progress. Oh, wow. yeah. that's progress. Things yeah. take time, but as long as there's movement, nothing is stagnant. So right. That's excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Thank you. So that does not require. I don't have that information in my package. At all. What? This. It's it's right here. No, I just checked my whole time here. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why I'm like, where is it? Okay, I'll share with you. Thank you. Here. Oh, okay. Do you have the work orders? Do you have work orders? The only thing I'm up to are I did the modernization and that's all I have. Oh, she doesn't have unit know, vacancies, work orders, or accounts receivable. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now we're down to tenant accounts receivable. Pamela. So property management is really working hard on TAR. Um, we have some movement. We did get another person into a repayment agreement, which is a good thing. So then um, 
a, a repayment agreement allows us to retain and the tenant to retain their their home um, and for them to pay back their arrearage without interest or fees or anything that's like good. that. So it's a win-win for everybody. Um, and, and that's always the first step is to try to get somebody into a repayment agreement. Unfortunately, for, a very, for various reasons, people sometimes fight back on that and then they get into issues. So they fight back on the offering of a payment agreement? Yeah, they just, you know, some and people they don't want to pay what they owe. Right. In other words, they might feel that they, there's a reason they don't owe. And because of that reason, they're not willing to make a. Let's have, let's have. Right. We're not in discussion. Yeah. Uh, Crystal's asking questions of Pamela. Thank you. I see so what you're saying. Yeah, they, so that's true. They they just for all different kinds of reasons. Um, and then so when they go into court, they're given that opportunity to say, "This is why I don't want to pay." Um, Which still holds up the payment of the un unit. It does, oh. yeah. And then, and then further, what happens is there could be a court order, and and we're actually in that position with two tenants, that there is a court order that yet we went through the whole process. They owe the money. Can you please get into a repayment agreement? And they just refuse. So we're we're looking at evictions again, oh. which is unfortunate. That's sad. But yes. um, and again, there's lots of reasons why that happens from. Um, it rarely is it stubbornness. There's usually more of a mental health issue, but especially in Hadley, the Hadley court system is really good. There's always community legal aid and TPP, tenant preservation services. They're always there, and we enlist all these people to try to help, and it just sometimes... So we do have up. someone that can speak with these tenants oh, yeah. on the mental stability portion of the home account yeah. so if there's a mental issue we do have someone that can sit down with them and just discuss it um, so they'll understand what's happening yes and we've even um, so we and we have a resident service coordinator on t and who also tries to put all these pieces together another um, tactic that we've been trying to use too is sometimes there's it's just recognizable severe mental illness right. that and then there's no family or, or support right. system for the person um, we go in front of the housing court judge and request a, a guardian ad litem okay. so it's a gal report and that's a court appointed person that can assist the tenant and the level of the assistance is is determined by the court system not mm -hmm. by the housing authority um, and then, the, but the court will put in clinicians and um, up lawyers and try to figure out, you know, what's going on. Um, and again, unfortunately, that's failing in this case of one of our Hadley residents. So There's that just the, so the outcome of that still was not beneficial. No. And that's that there's free will. They get to yeah. do what they want to do, and they're just choosing not to, and it's sad. So again, so that that Crystal, who's there's new on the board, can okay. can understand um, some of the services that are meant to help tenants maintain their tenancy, some of the social service organizations, my understanding from what you said before, is are only available uh, through the court and that requires a process right with the court um, sometimes it, it, TPP has been working with the housing authority mm -hmm. and the, and if we reach out ahead of time many times they'll come and mm -hmm. try ahead of time and they have been mm -hmm. um, but it all you know, the, the workload is just it's there's only lot. so many people some of the mental health services yeah. I understand are not available unless oh, well, there's wait lists. So oh, okay. uh, we, you know, we have Highland Valley, and 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 they just have so many requests yeah. that there's sure a staff to begin with. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Sue, now I, because of Crystal being new, maybe if you use words like tar, you can explain. I mean, instead of using words like tar, let her know what the word tar means. It's mm -hmm. right here on the report. I, I, well, I know that. No, she's I'll speaking try. it, it's better to. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to throw in when there's an and acronym. And my other but question it. is, um, I really do. I'm just giving an opinion. Mm -hmm. I do think there's a shortage at the um, at, at the court okay. in Hadley. If you're lucky enough to grab the lawyer of the day or lucky enough to get somebody to sit down as an advocate, there's a real shortage of people to advocate for people 
in the court, I'm not talking about the judge, but mm -hmm. you have to be one of those people that are like forceful to grab the lawyer of the day. Or mm -hmm. So there is also, um, whenever they get, <coughs> excuse me, whenever they get a notice, we're required to put the, inf the contact information for community legal aid. Mm -hmm. And we do have a lot of people that will reach out and it's set up ahead of time. So CLA will oh, community set up ahead of time. But I'm talking about if you're going in cold and never been to court before. A lot of people but you would don't have know. Had, but it's in the letter you get right. that you would so, and we would so tell them to warn. Yeah, and they but, are given information. This yes. is what's going to happen. This is what right. you need to do. Oh, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I understand now. Yeah, I just you know with, with the elderly and especially those that do not have family, yeah. you really feel for them because you know they've lived a long life and, and they run into things and they have no help so the process now of waiting and going through legal aid is even more strenuous so it's really i wish there was someone here yes that could advocate immediately instead of trying to allow instead of allowing that time for it to get out of hand there is we yeah. have a resident yeah. service coordinator right. and we, but how we try is she here She's here on, um, once a week. Oh, once a week. Okay. Yeah. And by, she, she could be here. Yeah, one oh, yeah, yeah, she can be, be, and she can be here whenever. So, okay. so right, this perfect. this one that it, we're failing at too. We we've been unfortunately the um, the accounts receivable is significant, but we had already gone through an entire process with this individual, oh. and there was an eviction scheduled for February, mm -hmm. which I stopped mm -hmm. because it was snowy out and right. it was cold and there was. Absolutely no resources, no car, shelters full, and that didn't seem like the right thing to do, so we stopped it. I um, mean, we now have significant costs, but I, it also we are a housing authority and we're, we have a higher level, and we're all human beings. We exactly. Have a, um, that's, so, yeah, that's but it's still not gonna. It's not gonna work out. It's unfortunate. But I, I think it's also important to point out what you do to go above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying, okay, I don't care that it's snowing, I don't care. Right. That you do try to help, which is something that needs to be recognized. And, and me as Thank a human being, I appreciate that. Thank you, because not a lot of housing authorities would do that. Yeah. Um, or even assisted living places. Yeah. You know, it's all about the money, but it's, it shows that when it comes to Hadley, even though there may be a long-term process, mm -hmm. someone you do try to take steps beforehand yes. to at least like, hey, let's work through this and let's see what we can do for you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, I could discuss something later. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is a, it's a work in progress and hopefully the numbers will be better we'll get more people into repayment agreements mm -hmm. for next month yeah so our our uh, our total for tar for the uh, tenants account receivable can you just say the amount that's owed and then the amounts that so the amount that is not not in a um, repayment agreement is eight thousand nine hundred and twenty two dollars and seventy three cents and the amount that is in a repayment agreement is eight thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars and forty one cents yeah and we did do a write-off in I believe it was April of mm -hmm. ten thousand something yeah but again just so as you know we did a write-off but that money Will uh, they'll the housing authority will continue to seek to collect that uh, at least some portion of that money? Every penny. Every penny. It was fraud. Yeah. Every yeah. penny. It was fraud. Oh yeah. 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 I was what I was saying to myself. How can someone actually get into that much of a debt? And it's fraud. Like you can't just sit around and not pay your rent for that long, owing that much money. It has right. to be something else. Well, everybody's rent is a different amount right, too. So you got some people that are two thousand, and then some of the folks, the family units, can be well over a thousand dollars because they they're they're working. Our folks here are retired. So this um, this is a total of both. Yes, the yeah. elderly and the family. Yeah. Right, and it's broken up. The six six seven is the elderly yes. and the elderly disabled, and the seven oh five is family. So that's okay. the group. 
housing back here, right. mm -hmm. 705. And then and we're then the 667. This is an here. active fraud repayment. I was going to say, so the amount for fraud is 31, but then you go to the others, so that's that's a lot. Right, because there's a, so if you, and that's a good example is the, uh, the, the lower grid, the yeah. 705 payment agreements of 1,420, that's um, one or two tenants that are behind on their rent. That's not bad. I mean, right. it's bad. No, right. But yeah. it's not as much as this other. And then the fraud repayment is when we come across, when they do annual recertifications or there's we've been given information that they're withholding income, mm. hiding assets. Yeah. It becomes a fraud. Yes. Um, and then the uh, EOHLC, the executive office, allows us to keep half of that as mm. Because the subsidy covers exactly, what you have to get your money back as well right. for the loss. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. But they're allowed to. Were they allowed to stay in their unit as long as they came clean and agreed to this? Reason? Yes. If it happens again, there might be they, some. But yeah. 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 So this but, is a one-time thing with whomever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But still, they didn't get evicted. That's what I'm saying. It's a one-time thing, yeah. which is good. They can yeah. just stay in and right. repay. Yeah. Whereas if it happens again. Then they right, we might have yeah. yeah. So that's a good. This is this is all what I mean about what Hadley does. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. good. It's good. C try do everything we can. Well, Pamela and her staff do everything the they can and the, and the to keep people the in their apartments. Mm -hmm. Really going right. above and beyond what any how say any mainstream landlord would do. Mm -hmm. We have tools at our disposal as a housing authority to really help people stay in their apartments. Right. And I think you can see that that's what Pamela and her staff do. They pull out all the stops to help people right. stay. Yeah. It's not all the time successful. Really yeah. it, it is, you know, you go above and beyond. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty excellent. Thank you. Okay. Are we down? Well, we've already done the capital report as part of the quarterly. Yes, we don't have anything new just right, yet. Right, right. So now we're down to work order report. And then um, the work order report is just, it's broken down by the type of request, um, the type and um, of work order and the number of work orders that mm -hmm. were done for uh, the month of June. So, we don't need a vote on that. No. So, but is there any discussion? Sue? No discussion. Crystal? No. I have nothing. And nothing Rich has nothing. No. So, no questions, ma'am. Perfect. And now we are to board correspondence. So, uh, the only board correspondence I have is from David Moskin on June 5th where he submitted an email uh, to resign fi from, the, from the Board of Commissioners. And so there is paperwork that the state requires and Pamela, can we get that done today or? You, you had the paperwork, and did you? You sent me the paperwork, but there were some errors in the names and stuff like that. So maybe we can correct that and print it out and then I'll sign it and we'll zip it off to the state. I have I it on my I email. We could black, do it. I thought it was a blank form from It ben. wasn't. It, it already was filled out. By who? By y'all. You said that you, you had pre-filled in certain names, but my name is incorrect on there, and there might be one other thing if I remember correctly. But we'll don't do it after I the meeting. I don't remember filling that out. But, but anyway, so I'll, I'll uh, sign that, and we'll get that submitted, which means that we are now looking for a new... Uh, state appointee, some folks call it governor's appointee. The process has changed for a governor appointee or state appointee for a housing authority, and that is uh, a Governor Healy is requiring uh, a um, questionnaire slash application, including a resume. So um, uh, that's how someone can apply for the position and all they have to do if they're interested in is is um, they can either contact me or contact uh, Pamela who can uh, submit to them the link to the uh, application questionnaire process and then they can uh, move on it that way 
the, go the governor actually, or the governor's office is who determines who of the applicants they will appoint. Uh, the select board has nothing to do with it, and our board has nothing to do with it. But if you happen to know of anyone who you think would be uh, a good addition to the Board of Commissioners, please let them know uh, so they can go through the process. And then again, the governor chooses. Anything else on that, Pamela? No. All right. So I have no further co correspondence. Does anyone else on the board have any correspondence regarding the Board of Commissioners? No. 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 All right. So now we're to commissioners' discussion. Uh, future meetings, we've already scheduled August 27th at 11 a.m. here. And I'm proposing September 24th, the last Tuesday in September. Does that work for everyone? Pamela, does that work for you? Mm -hmm. It works for me, Sue. I'm not sure I don't have my calendar in front of me, so I can't say. Uh, it's it's the last Tuesday of the month, so it should. She says she's saying she has to see if she has anything. No, no, I know, but oh. it's the last Tuesday of the I'm month. Is, right. is is always our meeting. Yeah. Rich should it work for me. Yep. Okay, so uh, we'll put that down as scheduled. Now, and items for future agenda. Uh, the flower bed policy whenever you're ready to go on that okay um so if you want to do that pamela uh, the august 27th meeting which whatever you want to do what's working for you because you guys are slammed busy we are slammed busy we're, mm -hmm. we're working on administrative plans um acop which i don't know what that acronym stands for at the second um yeah acop uh mm -hmm. it's like an, a it's an administrative plan for public housing okay. for federal public housing and a five-year plan on the federal side mm -hmm. so but we're 100 percent state funding right here. yeah yeah. Right. yeah so we're but i i'll let you know and we'll put you and i will discuss what we'll put discuss on. what works could okay. we could mm -hmm. you just can we request uh, who's going? I know two are going to. Oh, yes. oh this is regarding Mass Nara. I was conference. going to bring that up, but I yeah yeah, yeah. So we're all, we're all set. Maybe. Are, I'm okay. still on the debating side. Okay, so you have again. I had the hotel rooms reserved. Um, probably mid August. I'm going to make the final um, decision. Cut, yeah, and then we'll put anybody in. And you're you're going to come too, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> You oh, heard it. Know. I'm writing so it down. Right. <laughs> Rich be the said, bartender. Yeah. Last time Rich said, I never leave Hadley. So oh, okay, so he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so if everyone could kind of look at their calendars and let me let me know. And the dates are I looked at mine, I said I couldn't make it. <laughs> couldn't make it. He's book solid. What are the Rich. dates again? September eighth through the eleventh. Yeah, that's long. Well we, September eighth is a Sunday. I, I believe, and I guess it's since it's during the work week, we can probably cover more. And it's yeah, it, it went. I looked it. at the agenda, and each day starts early, mm -hmm. and we cover so much during that day. Then the afternoon, mm -hmm. late afternoon, yeah. probably you have enough time to eat and relax and then turn on. Yeah, you're done by like four. Yeah, usually by. So the fall, the fall conference is the longer conference, and the spring conference is the short conference. Oh. And the spring conference is the one you went to. Right, and, and you you can. Uh, I'm sorry, Crystal. You can. Um, just say you want to go for Monday too. So we would have you come down Sunday night and go to Monday, or even if Tuesday is the agenda that you like, come down Monday night and and stay for Tuesday. You can do it. You don't have to. How are the rooms going? In other words, if you're booking rooms, are we we have to have a roommate? In other words, oh no, there's no roommates. Uh -huh. No, you get your no, you get your own room. You get your yeah. own room. Yeah, okay. yeah. In this day and age, with with you, there's Everything. privacy issues. Yeah, yes. you get no, you get your own and room. Health issues. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so much. Yeah. yeah, your own room. Um, the housing authority reimburses you for the mileage and the tolls on the way out because it's all. Or no? Yeah. Well, it's uh, in the mileage. Oh. So the mile. Yeah, the mileage is the the IRS reimbursement rate. Okay. But so it's fifty six cents a mile or something. Or 50, yeah. No, isn't it in the sixties? No. Might oh. be now. This I year, thought, I haven't looked. I thought, this thought year. it was fifty six cents. Yeah, but yeah, it's whatever the federal, whatever the federal. No, you gave me the email. It said fifty six. So you think you no, I, I, what I told you was the last I looked, it was 56 oh, cents. okay. But what Pamela's saying, cost of gas, the IRS jacked it up to... Well, yeah, whatever the IRS reimbursement yeah. is, that's Just what we, that we give. Just look it up online. Oh, right. Plus tolls. Yeah. Plus and, tolls. And, and expenses, Okay, too. and how long does it take for you to get reimbursed? 
Oh, very quickly. Carrie does it right in the office. Okay. So you, there's just a quick form, um, and she cuts a check. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I probably go with this. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna ride with me, yes, girl? Yes, I am. All right. You're We're gonna drive with her to the Cape. I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, it's like this. If I get tired of driving, wait, I, we wait. stop at the gas station and I give Crystal the keys and say it's all yours. Now. This is like, are you sure we use glass? <laughs> You've never driven with me. Oh what my you? gosh. <laughs> this, he doesn't have he nothing. Yeah, because you drove, you drove with, you, me, and Nancy drove. Mm hmm. So that was, and, uh, but that was to Dedham, I think. But okay, still, but was, I've, I've I never did. I've um, never seen her drive. I don't know. I'm just gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> That's and okay. I lived on the Cape for 15 years, so I know the Cape like the back of my head. Oh, <laughs> the, I'm only kidding. <laughs> no, no. I've I've ridden with. I gotta tell you, Crystal. Riding with um, a group of people that are commissioners from the other two housing authorities. I've only ridden with the folks in various iterations from Beltertown. Mm -hmm. They are a wonderful group. And so I am very pleased that you're willing to. Wouldn't it make sense if we sort of rented a van, kind of? You know, like one of the minivans that had like six seats. That and would instead of going, everyone no. taking their car. <laughs> but that would have been. I think it's that great. That would have been nice because then, you know, you, you you everyone's the there. Hmm? But then the you have different yeah. people that. Right, but all right. <laughs> So it do, it does get around it, not around but it's it, it's not an open meeting law violation because it's a training right yeah so as long as you're following the thing and you're not talking the business of the housing authority right, in exactly. specifics and um, you know right. predetermining what you're going to be doing coming going up it's it really is a learning experience I mean that's not a bad idea I mean for next year maybe. Because that's we when I'm be being out. in social yeah. service all those years. We, every time we would have something out of town, we would rent right. a van. In, in general, and though, I think it's like safer. For, yeah. Yeah, for, for open meeting law, it, it's well, better for, well, because people could say, so it's the perception of violation, not, so, so in other words, two people on the board can ride together, and there's no issue. Right, because it's not a quorum. It's not a quorum. Mm -hmm. You can ride with commissioners from other housing authorities, and it's not an open meeting one. Right. You can cram all those people into a van, and it's not right. as long as they don't have more than two people from. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, but, and my only other concern though would be, and we can match up with somebody too, Sue, so if you if you don't want to drive that far, um, is uh, like the last two years, some of our commissioners are a, a little bit older and have medical issues uh -huh. and there was a lot of um, yeah. people not feeling well and it didn't work well last year because we we ran out of space at Seacrest yeah. mm -hmm. so I, we had to put commissioners over in downtown Falmouth which was oh, beautiful wow. beautiful but it's a yeah. it's, it's travel, it back, and forth. travel back yeah. and forth yeah. and then we had one commissioner that didn't felt feel good mm -hmm. so she ended up in my room to take in a nap to you know feel better oh, wow. until the other commissioners could bring her back and it's it's but you're just thinking of the worst case i'm thinking that everything will be fine and we can always put oh, masking no. tape over our mask so we don't break any rules <laughs> but you know what yeah. so every housing authority is going northampton springfield well they they choose to go i mean um, if they choose to, i don't yes. i nor i did see northampton at, at amherst but yes you'll you'll okay. be we typically have at the spring conference let me um, put my thinking cap on and then it's it's well over 250 attendees. Wow. It's big. Wow. And that doesn't count vendors and the people that are giving the sessions. Right, right. So That's it's, it is, it's, it's, a, a, it's a learning experience. Yes, yeah, So it's commissioners, uh, executive directors, and staff. Oh, and okay. a lot of people from EOHLC, a lot of people yep, from state <coughs> government, a lot of people, the vendors, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, there's a yeah. lot. That's yeah. going to be wonderful. Yeah, on Monday there's a um, there's always a an EOA uh, executive office room, and your people, our people, will make sure you know who they are are in the room, and you can go in and say, I would like so you know I would like more information on the admin fee mm -hmm. for capital, and yeah. they can uh. you can get it from the horse's mouth. EOHLC <laughs> people. Yeah, that's, that's a great place to ask your yeah. questions. Yeah. yeah. 
definitely. Oh, and HUD's there too. I, I get it. I know it doesn't because some housing authorities are also federal. Right. Right. So and then the HUD people come in. So basically, it's all of the housing statewide, yeah. every state and federal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And this is twice a year. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a spring conference and then uh, the, sub, the, the, fall. the fall annual. And always held in the same place? or they no. It's, no. We, It seems that, the I mean, we've, we've kind of got a good group going with Seacrest now. Um, we used to be at Seacrest in the spring, and it was kind of cold and mm -hmm. damp, and somehow we got this time spot in the fall. The fall we were at Plymouth, which I loved Plymouth too, but um, and we were bouncing around. But now that we, if people really like the annual in September, because the summer, you know, you it's it's a good time that you're catching up. And right. It's like you're starting the new, the new year, year fresh. fresh. Yeah. Fresh. Um, and do you think they'll be keeping UMass for pre for now? No, no, it's already it's already been moved. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to think where we. I, I can. I we. I have a I'm meeting. I'm surprised. I thought it was a, a nice place it to have. Really was. We might go to other colleges though across the Commonwealth. Uh, um, I'm so confused. What do you mean keep UMass? We, uh, this spring we had the conference, uh, first time since 2004 or 2006 oh. in Western Mass. We usually end up going out east. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So I think we're in Cambridge or Waltham okay. we're going to next time. Uh, this you mean in September? No, it, spring. The, uh, I'm sorry. The so following. you're going to UMass next year? No, no, we no, just no. We, we just have the spring it. conference right. in, at UMass. Right, so next year, next spring. It might next be spring it's going to be in, um, it, I think it's actually uh, well, Walking. Okay. Yeah. Which is beside Cambridge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. At a, it's back at a hotel. It at UMass, so I, yeah. I didn't know No, we typically had. move around, um, and then on the federal side, we go down. I, we go to Mohegan in February, mm -hmm. and then we they bounce around between Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine because oh. because it's all of New, New England, England. Oh, and hey. everyone except for Massachusetts has uh, fed, well they all have federal housing. They don't. We don't housing. go oh, really? because Hadley is only <coughs> so we don't go to the federal. I do. I she question. has to because she's, she's got both. federal and in Amherst. Right. I have a question yes. to ask. Yes, my friend lives in Williamsburg in the housing, Nash Hill Place. Hers is called a USDA funded. Ooh. It's not funded, it's not state, it's not federal, right. it's USDA. But USDA, I thought, had to do with food and, and produce, but it, but her funding comes from USDA and her housing authority. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? I didn't realize USDA, but I do know that there's, um, I, and I do think Weymouth still has a little bit of state too. Um, there are some housing authorities that have different pools of money. So the Hamden Housing Authority, I bring that one up a lot. My mom's there. Um, that one is neither federal and neither in state. Oh wow! But she still reports to both of them. She has a report to both for both still. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so it's a and, and they're at uh, like East Hampton. They're a housing authority that has enough resources that they don't actually um, reserves that they don't get a subsidy, mm -hmm. um, which I think is how. I'm not really sure how Hamden work, but there is all different pools of money. It's My interesting. My other question is, most housing authorities are either state or federal, but some are state and federal. Yes. Who decides what actually is under the federal part of that housing authority versus the state? If you're having both state and federal in, in one housing authority, so it depends. It's usually it was split up by a development. Um, so it would be. It depends on where um, where the funding source came when you built the properties. So in Amherst, I have state housing for my 667 and 705s, but then I also have family units which look like our 705s here that are project-based federal housing. So it's, it, but that's the money, that's where the source of money came to start the development. You know, all these questions, if you come to Mass Narrow and go to EOHLC room, you can ask, all, just write them down because they can give you answers to everything you have. I have a question. What yeah. is considered federal and what is considered state? Section 8 or in-house subsidy or which one? So we, in Hadley, we, we get state housing. Mm -hmm. We have state housing, so we get a subsidy through the executive office. Through the state. Through the state, okay. through the Commonwealth. And that's for the 705s and 667s here? Right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And then Section 8, it's going to get a little confusing. <laughs> so there is H the HCV program, which is traditional okay. federal Section 8. But then there is also um, the state 
manages we do not I have we don't have these ones but the state manages some section 8 that they get funding it filters from the federal wow. through the executive office down um, we also have and we have these programs in, in uh, Amherst um, AHVP MRVP DMH those are all similar to how a section it's a mobile voucher or a project-based voucher but it's a voucher and those monies come from the Commonwealth the federal no, no the, the state, state. The so state. those are state aided yeah those ones are state aided oh. yeah okay yeah yeah so the mobile ones are federal they could so be either they could be either okay they so basically either. they can be either it, yeah right. what you just mentioned it's not one particular is federal and one particular is state it can right. all be either or both right. I just oh, have I one more question to ask yeah, yeah. And okay. can I just yeah. just finish one little it's right. like where Sue was saying USDA I haven't heard of that one but that's definitely federal and then you two ladies are on on housing and economic it's, it's yeah. another really big tool that people are using now developers are using is low income tax credit mm -hmm. and that's an IRS program federal so it's like everybody's housing gets <laughs> way complicated <laughs> yeah. but for now we're just dealing with, with state aided housing here in Hadley yeah. and when you get you know really well versed in that then yeah we might be looking at other things. I did interrupt Sue. And, so yes, yes, yes. Now HUD, we always heard the word HUD for years. Now you hear the word wayfinders. Are they exactly the same no. people no. with no. a new name? No, no, no. HUD is the Housing and Urban Development and, um, and then in Indian Affairs. So there's that. The, um, and when you see them at conference, they'll wear blue shoes. They look like the men in black. <laughs> no, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> very strict no they're they're loosening up no um, no they are they are um, <laughs> wayfinders is an administrating agency that's their a title under how uh, programs so they have the authority and they get subsidy they're assigned vouchers through the federal government and they even have these Massachusetts vouchers too and they administer them but they, they're a nonprofit uh, corporation so they're not in housing. No. You have nothing no. to do with wayfinders or HUD at all. No, no HUD I do, but not wayfinders. Yeah. I had I assisted someone, um, a homeless person, with contacting different uh, agencies, and wayfinder was one, and mm -hmm. she was able to get um, a voucher. I guess is what she said to pay the first, last, and security for raft. For oh raft. That's yes, what right. So mm -hmm. raft. She said she contacted wayfinder, and then they referred her to raft. Yes. And she had to fill out information and everything. And unfortunately, though, she was unable to find a place. Yeah. Um, because with the landlords these days, they want credit history, they want job information, they want, which is understandable. But if someone is is living in a shelter with a job, you know, they do not have a landlord reference. So right. it's really hard for them. Yes. Yeah. And stuff. But yes. yeah, she did go through wayfinders, and I was wondering what, you know, what part they played. Yeah. And we well, our t our tenants have the ability to use RAF too. Oh, uh, our, our our resident service coordinator, property managers, they'll assist our tenants that are that have arrears with applying for RAF. Um, and if they if they meet the the qualifications of the program, they'll pay off their arrearage. So, the people who owe the money can apply for RAF, mm -hmm. and they still won't do it. No, no, they might not know. Uh, or, or they've done it, and they've been. A, so you have to, you have to demonstrate a hardship. So eviction if, is a hardship. Well, no, but if you just didn't pay your rent because you didn't want to pay oh, your rent. Oh, I see. But I, see. I mean, sometimes people say, I, I didn't pay my rent. I had a car repair, and I need to, I needed to go to work. Um, I was ill, and I. And, right. But if they, if their rent, if they're ill and their their income drops, we drop their rent. So that's. Right. They have to have a hard. I had too many medical bills. Oh, some, um, okay. something like comes just up. Apply and yeah. for here, I thought you could yeah. just apply and you know say I'm, I'm in court and this and that. But yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, folks. Yes. Yeah. We're it is twelve oh nine. Nine minutes. And uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Crystal makes a motion to adjourn. Can I get a second? Your second. Rich Witka seconds. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Bye.